What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I know I made a video last week all about the new year and my like resolution slash, slash my favorites of 2016. If you guys want to check that out, I'll have a link down below for you guys. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and you'll just be notified when my videos um, go live. So really the only way I can start this video is by first explaining that this is not going to be like a follow along workout video. I know a lot of people do videos like that where they just work out and you follow them. I'm not a personal trainer. I'm not a fitness expert So I'm never gonna be doing videos like that just because I don't want to teach you guys anything wrong <laughs> And have you hurt yourselves, but I have been working out a ton for the past few months If you guys aren't aware I did go through kind of a crappy phase in 2016 and I did gain quite a lot of weight. I mean, maybe to some people it's not a lot, but for me it was the most weight I've ever gained in my entire life. I'm lucky in a sense that when I do gain weight, it's kind of like spread out evenly throughout my whole body, so it wasn't like a massive difference, but I just felt really unhealthy, like really, really unhealthy. I was just always weak, I had no energy, I was always sad, like I just felt like crap. So I told myself enough is enough, and I became serious about not only exercising, but my diet. If you guys aren't aware, I was gluten intolerant for like five years. Um, I had been tested by three different doctors when I became gluten intolerant and it was during a time when like gluten wasn't a th Like it was a thing, but like no one no one was gluten free like it wasn't a fad Whereas I feel like nowadays a lot of people cut out gluten to be healthier or whatever the case may be But I was it's not an allergy. It's an intolerance. So it's being like lactose intolerant like I'd get really sick when I would eat it and there was no such thing as gluten-free bread, gluten-free meals, like no restaurants were doing it. It was literally like the new thing and I just was like so hungry all the time because I had to cut out like so many of my favorite foods. And I was also exercising a lot because I've always been an active person. I also just want to quickly say before I continue with this that this is going to be kind of a backstory. So if you're not interested at all in this backstory and like how I gained weight, how I lost weight, then you can totally skip forward. I, I'm not judging you. I mean, I hope you stay so you can understand what I do at the gym, but if you guys want to skip forward to the actual workout routine, I'll have a little thing down below where you could just skip forward. But I do recommend you guys listening to this. It's not going to be that long. I'm just going to get into it really quick. If you want to know more details, I'll link the vlog down below where I really spoke about it a lot. But essentially, I was gluten intolerant. I cut it out. I was exercising all the time. I lost like some weight because I wasn't like overweight or anything back then. I was an athlete, I was a swimmer, and it wasn't like I had much to lose, but I was just very, very physically active and very healthy. And then this for like last year in 2016, in like the spring when I was able to eat gluten again, I don't know how long I had been able to eat gluten because I just never tried it again because it made me so sick. But I was in Paris and I was like, I'm just gonna try a croissant. I don't care if I get sick, like I'm in Paris, whatever and I didn't get sick, it was weird, so I slowly started introducing it into my diet. I wasn't celiac, so it wasn't like that serious. Um, my doctors did recommend that I don't go overboard because I probably healed my body by cutting it out and if I go overboard it could like re-damage it and then I'll have to cut it out completely again, so I'm just kind of taking it slow. I'm not eating too much gluten, but I did go through a phase of like, I was just like, <gasps> like everything that I hadn't been able to eat in like five, or five years I was just like binging on and obviously gained weight from that then I went through a period of like not working out and that was the weirdest thing for me because I've always been so active like my whole life I've always done sports I've always like when I quit swimming I was like into running like I've always been an athletic person so for me to just like not do anything and eat like crap was like weird and I don't know why that happened thought it was a phase which it wasn't and I gained a total of 25 pounds in like a really short period of time like for me that's like <laughs> that's a lot of weight I wasn't pregnant like it was just and it was unhealthy weight like it was not like I was working out and I was gaining muscle, like it was literally just like really unhealthy fat just like sitting on my body and I could feel it and I just felt gross. Finally, I was like enough is enough. Daniel, you need to help me. Dan has also been an athlete his whole life. He could be a personal tra trainer, like he's so good at what he does. So I just needed him to help me, not just in the gym, but in the kitchen as well because it was getting to be a struggle. Like I... 
I didn't like I was craving sugar all the time. It was so bad and you guys know I'm a vegetarian I don't eat meat, but I was like and I, I don't crave meat But I was like eating so many other things to fill myself because I wasn't getting enough protein We started working out in the gym, but not only was I doing cardio Which is what I always did. I always did cardio and I always did like Pilates type exercises I started weightlifting and this is the first time I've ever weightlifted in my life like when I was a swimmer We were supposed to also do like dry land and weightlifting and I would just like hide in the closet Or like pretend to do it and not actually do it because I was terrified of like getting muscular like I was like ew I don't want to be like super muscular and jacked. That's not my goal not knowing that It's like really hard to look like that. It's not just like you lift a few weights You're gonna be like jacked like it's really hard to gain a lot of muscle. It's a lifestyle So me being like 16 17 not really understanding that I was like, I'm just not gonna do any weight training So I never did it. I never knew What to do so Dan thank him so much for like showing me how to do things properly and showing me how to like use machines at the gym so if you guys are curious to see how I work out without equipment, like at home workouts or anything like that, I will have a playlist for you guys to check out with all my previous workout routines because I have a lot. But this is like the one that has worked the most for me and ha actually made me lose the most weight. But I do have to say a lot of it has to do with the kitchen, like a lot. It's not just like working out and then eating like crap is gonna like make you lose weight. Like it's a complete lifestyle lifestyle change. So I guess we'll start off with what I do at the gym because I always work out in the morning. It's the first thing I do. We wake up at either 7 or 7.30 in the morning and we go to the gym right away. I start off with cardio because I do love to get my cardio in. I love to run. I love to like get my heart rate up. And I do think it's important to do that at some point in your workout routine. It's not necessary, but I just I just think it's, it's good. So I will either... Um, use the elliptical machine which is like the thing that goes like this and you feel like you're like cross-country skiing I love that or I go on the treadmill or I go on the Bike is that what it's called the cycle thing bike? I mean I'm figuring it's a bike which I don't really love that much But I force myself to do it once in a while because I don't think it's good to do the same thing all the time So but running for me is just like the best so I will do 40 minutes 40 to 50 minutes of cardio and I'll do like sets so I won't just do like the same thing for 40 minutes straight like I'll do 20 minutes on the elliptical and then 20 minutes on the treadmill or 20 minutes on the bike whatever it might be but I go hard on only one of them. So like, let's say I start off with the elliptical, I'll like go at a really hard level and like really push myself for 20 minutes and then I'll go and walk on the treadmill for 20 minutes. Like I kind of mix it up so it's not too intense because then I don't want to like kill myself. And after that's done, after I break a sweat, I go downstairs to like the weight area and every day I switch it up. So I didn't film like all of the stuff I do. I just want to give you a general sense. A lot of people ask me how I like have my butt. <laughs> and that's such an awkward thing. Okay, for one, I was born with a more bubble butt. Like I just always have had a bubble butt. So it wasn't like I just did squats and I grew my butt. Like it just, it's naturally more like bigger. So I kind of work off that so it does have to do like with I do do exercises that help it stay more up, but I do have Naturally a more Big booty if That makes sense. Anyways, I'm just saying that because I get literally so many questions about my butt So that is the reason why it's genetic <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but okay, so let's say it's leg day. So with leg day, I do machines to work specific areas on my legs. I kind of do all around, typically hamstrings, glutes, uh, quads, all exercise like that. And I'll do a low weight with a longer rep because I'm not trying to bulk my muscles to be super big. I want like long lean muscles and that is the way to do it. If you do like longer reps but lower weights, that's how you're going to get the longer leaner muscles. So I'll do like, let's say, let's say a certain like 30 pounds for me on like my legs. It's like I find it really hard just because I'm like not that great yet. 
So I'll do like three times 15. So I'll do 15, like whatever it is, like lifting my legs or between 15 and 20. And I'll do, I'll do 20 of them, take like a minute off and then do it again. So I'll do the 20 reps three times, if that makes sense. And I kind of do that with everything. So whatever exercise I do, I'll do between 15 and 20 and I'll try to do it three times. And then once my body gets used to that, I'll kind of up it. So I'll up the weight a little bit and try to do like 22 or 25 or something like that till like and every few weeks you could see yourself getting stronger and it's just like the best feeling in the world so I'll either do leg day then I'll do an arm day where I'll do a bunch of arm exercises and or I'll do a back day and then abs obviously abs are so important I'll always end with abs and I'll always end with like some Pilates exercises incorporating some weight in because I typically have never done that before and it's just um, it doesn't do anything bad for you. As long as you keep the right posture, you have someone at the gym showing you how to do things properly, there's nothing worse than doing something the wrong way. You can actually really injure yourself. So you wanna make sure that someone is there telling you what you're doing is right. No one is perfect, obviously. Even with me, when I do squats, like my knees still go over my toes a little bit when you're not really supposed to, but to gain the muscle, like I need to, you know, start somewhere. So um, yeah, I do that and then I always end with stretches. Stretching is so important because you want to like extend your muscles. It also helps you so you're not as sore the next day and it's just, I, I mean, I was a dancer for a long time as well. So like stretching is just like always been so important as well in swimming, like stretching is just like, and yeah, so right now my routine is 40 to 50 minutes cardio. Then I, if it's a leg day, I do all my leg exercises three times 20 typically. And if it's an arm day, three times 20. If it's a back day, whatever. Um, I am shown at different exercises quite often because I do think it's important to switch things up because your body does get used to exercises and then it gets to a point where it just stops Excel, not excelling, it just stops improving because your body just gets used to it and there's no more improvement that can be made. So if you switch up your routine, you do some other things, when you go back to the other thing, then you can start improving again. So that's another thing I've been doing and I've noticed such a difference in my body, guys. Like, it's crazy. I have, like, defined muscles. Like, my legs are starting to get defined. I've always struggled with, like, cellulite on my butt and that's starting to slowly go away. Like, it's crazy. And not only does... My body feel a lot more fit. I feel inside so much better. I have like a million times more energy. I'm sleeping amazing. I'm feeling way more positive, way more better. It's just like working out just does so well for you. I recommend it for everyone. If you guys don't have access to a gym, you could still work out at home. Like I work out every single day, but Sundays I do an at-home workout. I don't go to the gym, I do at home. Just like I literally go on YouTube and I search like at-home workout and I'll do the workout. And it's just, it's just so important to get yourself up and active, whether that be going for a 30 minute walk or just skip rope or running around circles in your house like just do something it's so important it helps your like brain so much in the whole like toning up and losing some weight that plays you know working out plays into that but the kitchen is like the most important thing and this is the thing i think for a lot of people they struggle with because they become like obsessed with like the number on the scale and like losing weight and whatever that is like I don't want to encourage that because I think it's really unhealthy I got a scale for the first time in my life when I moved into this house I weighed myself when I was at my heaviest and I usually weigh myself like once every two weeks just to kind of keep a, like a progress but I don't go overboard because I know so many people that just become obsessed with it and it just goes bad I do think it's really important to eat very healthy and that very healthy meaning that you're getting all your fruits and vegetables you're getting your protein you're getting everything you need in a balanced diet I don't think it's good to do like portion controlling because I mean it's hard like I don't want to give too much advice that like could like it all depends on the person but I think that when you become obsessive and you start like weighing your food and measuring your food and saying I'm only having like four broccolis like it, that's when it becomes mentally like wrong and like I don't think that's healthy I mean at the end of the day you do you but I think it's important to as long as you're working out like you can eat what you want just in moderation so like I for example, eat healthy like every day. I have lots of salads, lots of greens, lots of smoothies. I have protein powder now or protein shakes. 
Um, it's like a veggie protein thing. I don't know. It's just really good and that's helping also because I don't eat meat. So like I don't like if you eat meat, you can have like a piece of chicken whereas like I can't do that and I don't get much protein with other things. So I just make sure to have my protein powder and I'm good. I have my vitamins, my minerals. I have, um, I drink so much water. Like water is the key. So drinking a lot of water, eating like pretty clean diet, but allowing myself to indulge because if I don't, then I'm just gonna go crazy. And like, what's the point of that? You know, like if I'm going to a movie and I feel like having some popcorn, like I'll have some popcorn, you know? It, it's not like, I just think it's so important to like let yourself indulge because then it just makes you crazy. And why would I want that? <laughs> so if you guys are curious to like know a meal plan, let me know in the comments down below because that is something that I would be willing to show you like what I would eat on a typical day when I'm working out, what I think is really healthy. I'm not a nutritionist, so like I can't give you like specific advice, but I could show you what I've been doing and what works for me. So if you're curious about that, let me know. And um, also if you do have any comments about what I've been doing, if you think I could do things differently or if you have any suggestions, totally let me know. If you have been struggling with weight, if you've been struggling with you know, getting yourself active, comment it. We can maybe help each other. If you guys see a comment down below that you see somebody struggling, give them some advice or just leave advice down below. Like I want this to be an open discussion and I this is something I do want to start on my channel is like, really healthy living and my goal in life is to live as long as possible so like why would I do anything that is going to cut my life shorter I have I don't drink alcohol I mean not that I say anything about people that drink alcohol I have nothing wrong with that but like just for me I haven't had alcohol in like five years um so if I want to have like a soda once in a while like a, a diet coke or something like I like literally don't even remember the last time I've had one, but like if I wanted to, I wouldn't like beat myself up about it. I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. Like I literally want my body to be so clean and so good. What I can control, I just wanna make sure that I have like the most long, happy life as possible. So that is my goal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different than my other workout videos, but that was the point is, this is a much more rambly video. If you guys, um, want to see anything else feel free to comment it down below like I said and I hope you guys are having an amazing day or week or night wherever you are in the world don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share it and yeah let's start this journey together let's do it I want to motivate you guys I want you guys to get up off your booties and like do things I want you guys to be healthy I want you to feel like you can do stuff so anyways I love you I'll see you all in my next video